So that's a decent amount of XP from that. I mean, that's 160 XP plus the XP from Dark Cocoa, which was the consumables. But 10 billion chocolate for getting our rabbit pets a mythic. And these truffles do cost quite a bit as well, but there's a legendary accessory that we can get with billions of chocolate. Ladies and gentle gamers, welcome back to To Be Determined. In today's video, I spent a ton of money on Skyblock XP per usual. Plus, we talked about the chocolate factory update, and it's going to take billions of chocolate to max that out. But it actually gives really good XP, so in the long run, it'll be worth it. Anyways, if you guys end up enjoying today's video, make sure to drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. We're on our way to 11,000 subs, and every single subscription helps. Also, if you end up enjoying the background music, make sure to check that out. I wrote it myself. There's links in the description. And let's jump straight into it. I didn't realize this. We got our Phoenix Pets level 100 at some point, which actually let me uh, swap the item off of that. We're going to change it to... Sure, we'll throw a plushie on there. Why not? Boom. Get rid of that XP share. And let's get him. How much does it cost to upgrade him at cats? 70 million coin. Um, I don't have that kind of money on me right now, but I do want to upgrade this to legendary at some point. But yeah, we're just we're gonna wait on that a little bit. Alright, so we will now have the means to get the first of two talismans from the update. Of course, there is the uh, the artifact or the relic of power, which is the upgrade to the artifact of power. That one requires 32 glacite amalgamations. Thankfully, they made the other one cheaper and it only requires four glacite amalgamations and four refined umber and tungsten instead of like four umber and tungsten plates, which was a little bit crazy. But we can now do the dwarven metal talisman right here. It's gonna take 16 hours, but worth it probably. And then we'll go ahead and set up another place at amalgamation. So we'll have four of those ready in total when those are done. But again, we need 32. That's just for the relic. And then we're going to need either 16 to have a chance to make a new place like golem pet, or we're going to need 24 to upgrade our current pet to legendary. So we're going to need a, like at least 48 to carry on and get all the XP from this update. After all of the powder we've gotten today from fossils or scraps, we should have enough gold essence to do an upgrade. So this is Midas Lure level 9. Gold serving fish don't really matter to me, but this is 9 Skywalk XP, and that does matter to me. That puts us 36% to level 415. And also, I believe thanks to today's update, we can now warp to the crystal nucleus without having to pay a fee, which is nice because I've got an upgrade to do here too. We're at 2,730 diamond essence. I only need two and a half thousand to get returned to cinder 10. So we'll do that. That's another 10 Skywick XP for that. That puts us 46% to level 415. GG. All right, so apparently with today's update, they added to where you can donate your pelt belt to the museum. So we're gonna do that. Rarities, Pelt Belt, voila. And that should be a decent chunk of Skywalk XP for us. 10 Skywalk XP, I will take that. Ladies and gentlemen, foraging 36. 20 Skywalk XP, two strength, 500,000 coins, four extra foraging fortune. But we mainly care about the Skywalk XP, of course. We are now 88% to level 415. All right, well, our Dwarven Metal Talisman is finished now. So that's a new talisman for us. I do need to get a recon to put on this at some point, but until then, he's just going to chill right here and give us some tuning points. So our tuning points are now at 1462 and we are 93% to level 415. <sighs> I can't wait till this gets updated. Oh my goodness. Forging 37, Skyblock level 415. Ay, ay, ay. We're 13% to 416 now. I have peaked at 750 in the global ranking leaderboard. Hopefully, we catch back up to that pretty soon. All right, so I just found this mine shaft, and as you can see at the back, there is a Peridot Crystal that was here, so we claimed that. We still do need a Opal Crystal, an Onyx, a Citrine, and an Aquamarine Crystal, but that's one out of five, so we're 20% done to all the perfect crystals we're going to need for the maxed out accessory. All right, I'm going to make a little bit of an investment that I might regret, but I think it'll be worth it in the long run, hopefully, maybe. We'll see. I am going to take this glacite golem plus 7 million coins and 24 glacite amalgamations which by the way 
is currently 90 million coins. This is a 100 million coin upgrade. Boom, boom. It's 14 days. I don't really feel like waiting that long personally. So cat items, five days. So we do two of these. One, two, and then four of these. Boom. Okay. One, two, one, two, three, four. Voila. Legendary Glacite Golem. It is already up to level 100 because we've been using it for so long, even after we got it to level 100 epic. So we'll claim that and that puts us 25% to the level 416 GG. All right. Well, I found a Vanguard. Let's see what we get. This key I paid, yeah, like 50 million coins for. Uh, blue Goblin Egg, two amalgamations, a tungsten key, 47,000 powder. Okay, that part is kind of nice. Two refined mythal, eh. Okay, well, that was definitely not worth 50 million coins, but... It is what it is. I'll take some Glacite Amalgamations. That's not too bad. All right, ladies and gents. It looks like we have found ourselves a nice little citrine crystal. Let's go. So now we still need Opal, Onyx, and Aquamarine. Oh, man. We got another one. I don't want to keep open the, opening these. I really, I'm running out of money. It's 50 million coins every single time, which is getting a bit expensive, I probably should stop but first we got two books a blue egg a flawless citrine a flawless aquamarine a tungsten key twenty-five thousand powder yeah that was also pretty mid i'm not gonna lie that's like mm, a 30 mil loss so could have been worse all right i just got an onyx crystal from one of the corpses in there so we now have onyx and citrine so i just need aquamarine and opal Glacite Mage level 13, halfway done. With today's update, we should be able to do slash CF right now. Dude, I have a little bit of chocolate. Um, I'm not sure when the update started working. It was pretty recently, but we've got a little bit from that. I did grab a couple rabbits already. Um, the update came out like, what, many hours ago. They just now fixed it, but you were still able to get rabbits, like buying for them from the shop and opening eggs. So I do have a couple in the collection we have nine currently out of 395 so we probably should focus on upgrading the capacity as soon as we can but first let's go employ rabbit bro that's probably the meta right now right can i uh i can do slash cf and i hire him right and that will increase our chocolate per second drastically we can also do hand-baked chocolate which increases the amount we can get actually this gives a lot of skywalk xp from doing this so there's 25 skywalk xp um from prestiging and i'm not sure what the max prestige prestiges so it looks like you can get a ton of skywalk xp from doing this though we're currently getting 17.78 chocolate per second let's just crank up the intern as much as we can okay so he's at level 10 right now so 10 extra chocolate per second so in a couple minutes we'll be able to upgrade him again rabbit barn is going to be the big one but we should currently focus on buying more rabbits but you can see we already bought all these ones so we need to just really get the eggs that's the big thing but yeah we've got a lot of skyblock xp to get from this so there's the skyblock xp from prestiging which i'm guessing most prestiges will give skyblock xp let's go to ways to level up probably in miscellaneous i would guess let's see yeah there's the dark cocoa is in there now hoppity's hunt here we go event tasks so there's 160 that you can get from Mythic Chocolate Rabbits and Chocolate Factory, Factory Prestiges. So four Prestiges. So we can Prestige it four times and then we're done. And there's six Mythic Chocolate Rabbits that we have to find. So that's a decent amount of XP from that. I mean, that's 160 XP plus the XP from Dark Cocoa, which was the consumables which I think is like a total of 10 XP or something. It's not much. So that's a little bit of XP. So it should be like 170 XP from that. But if we look in the shop, we've got Zoro's Cape, which if it's not in museum, I don't care. But 10 billion chocolate for getting our rabbit pets a mythic. And these truffles do cost quite a bit as well. But there's a legendary accessory that we can get with billions of chocolates. So we're going to have to work on that. That'll take a while. Plus the Supreme Chocolate Bar. This doesn't give Skywalk XP, but I'm going to do it anyways because it's extra fortune, which will give us Skywalk XP in the long run. All right, boys. Thanks so much for watching to the end. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, again, make sure to drop a like. Subscribe if you haven't already. Again, we are on our way to 11,000 subs and every sub helps and it's absolutely free. Also, if you want to, I have a Discord. There's a link to that in the description that you can check out as well. Plus my kick, which I stream on every now and then some other games besides Skyblock. So if you want to see me play other stuff, make sure to check that out. Thank you guys again for watching to the end, and I'll see you in the next one. Have an amazing rest of your day, and God bless.